Well, hello, welcome to today's episode. I'm Natalia Levy, and I will be your chef for today. Uh, well, maybe not your chef, more like your guide to help you be a better chef. So, uh, have you heard of the keto diet? There's so many diets out there. I've studied all of them to get my degree as a certified nutrition consultant, and I'm a health coach as well. So, um, besides having like professional chef training, which is sort of helps me to um, help you. It helps me help you make uh, great meals and easy ones. And, and uh, the meals that I make in this, on this YouTube channel are supposed to really assist you in developing your skills, but also in it's just kind of like taking that guesswork out of cooking and I spend so much time testing flavor combinations and textures that hopefully uh, through watching these videos you kind of either do exactly step by step what I show you or you find your own recipe or you, your own methods or your own uh, flavors. What do you like? Do you like certain textures? So I like crunchy textures. So whether I make energy bites or whether I make these keto fat bombs, which we're going to be making today, I like the crunch. So, and I'll mention it throughout the video as to what you can um, do to change it. Okay. So here we go. If you are on a ketogenic diet, if you've heard of the keto diet, uh, it is, um, diet's been around for a little while now and it helps people put their body in the state of ketosis. So typically we burn carbs for energy. Our body loves carbs. <laughs> and, um, but so ketosis puts your body in that state where it uses uh, fat for energy. So it burns your body's fat. So it helps a lot of people lose weight. Um, I have not actually done the diet myself but a bunch of my friends have done it and they've had good results. Some of them didn't have good results. Anyway, you find what really works for you. I talk a lot about it. I actually have a, a TED talk coming where I am going to be talking about gut health. All right, so to this video, it's phenomenal. So we have a blueberry keto cheesecake balls. They are super luxurious very easy to put together so let's get started one of the ingredients that gives these balls a lot of flavor is freeze-dried blueberries what i so there's no sugar added in this recipe and the only sugar that actually comes is from these blueberries but blueberries are on a ketogenic diet so they're they are great and typically the fat bombs are what they are you know they, they're made using a ton of fat fatty ingredients and some people use sweeteners. Um, I personally try to find to add, uh, ways to add sweetness through the flavor itself. So these are Trader Joe's freeze-dried blueberries. There's no, absolutely no sugar added to this. All this is, is just blueberries that have been freeze-dried. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put them in this food processor and we're going to pulse them into a dust. So this is where we are talking, we're gonna talk about the texture a little bit. I like to create a dust with this, so my blueberry dust. If you like a little bit of the crunchier texture, if you wanna feel that little bit of a bite of the blueberry on your tongue, on your, in your mouth, as you are biting into these balls, into these fat bombs, then pulse them less. I'm just gonna pulverize them into a complete powder. All right, so we have our blueberry powder, and I'm just gonna put it in this little container. I'm, for the recipe, we're going to use a tablespoon worth of this. So I'm gonna set this aside and just going to store the rest in the container. You can store this in a container for a while at home and for a few weeks in, a, in your pantry until you make this recipe again. 
All right, so we're just going to use the same food processor to make our coating. The fact that, it's, that it still has a little bit leftovers of this blueberry powder in it, it's totally fine. Don't worry about it because this is the, the uh, these uh, cheesecake fat bombs are blueberry flavored, so if there's a little bit of the powder left, no big deal. So the next step is we are making the coating. I like my coating, like I mentioned, really crunchy. And having a crunchy coating was, is going to really help uh, to keep these fat bombs together. All right, so uh, I, I like a crunchy coating. So, and also the crunch of this coating is going to heal, he, keep um, the, these fat bombs, these cheesecake fat bombs together. So I have a quarter cup of raw organic cacao nibs. This is the brand that I use. Use whichever ones you like. These are unsweetened. Perfect. So they actually will give it like this little bit of a bitter flavor, which is fun. And then I have a quarter cup of pistachios. Now you can use uh, just raw pistachios, you can use toasted pistachios, whichever pistachios you like. All right, put that in. And we're gonna pulse, pulse, pulse. Okay, I like this consistency right here. So I use this nice and flat dish and we're gonna put the coating right in here so that we can roll the balls right in it. Um, so I have this coating spread out in a nice and thin layer in this dish, which is perfect. I, I really like it. It's, it's just like a pie dish, Pyrex, one of the old ones that I had laying around the house. You can use a plate, that's fine. You just want something to keep this in together. So I have my bowl. I have uh, eight ounces of cream cheese. I had it sit out for about an hour or so. So we're just gonna soften this right here. I'm gonna put it into a bowl. Three ingredients, it's such an easy, easy recipe. We have a tablespoon of our blueberry powder that we just made. And like I mentioned, I really love texture. So I'm using a quarter of a cup of crunchy almond butter. But if you want your cheesecake bombs to have a smoother texture, then just go with regular almond butter. So now we just mix everything together. Could you have used the food processor for this part? Yeah, but I think it's, I don't know. I like to do things by hand. Okay, so now that we have this mixed in, so you could, to help you with rolling, you could put this in the fridge so that it, it, it hardens for about half an hour. Um, but we're just gonna, I'm just gonna go for it and see how that works. Like I said, if you, if you have the time and if you're gonna go and do another task, then you can let these sit in the fridge. But I'm just gonna show you a quick trick. So I take a teaspoon, depending on the size you want, you can use a teaspoon or a tablespoon. So I'm gonna do this, just use my finger and put them in, and then I'll show you how you can they'll still roll perfectly, even without uh, the re refrigerator. So we're just gonna roll them like that. And you see, they turn out beautiful and they still roll into perfect little balls. Oh, it smells so good, this blueberry. All right, so I just have uh, the last few here. You see, like I'm doing this motion just to get more coating on. It depends on how much coating you like. I like, like I mentioned to you, I, I love crunch, I love texture. And so I ended up making extra coating just so that all of these are covered fully. And the size just depends on the size you wanna do, whether you use a tablespoon or use your judgment, whether you want it to be like a one bite or two bites or whatever it is, but Anyway, I think that you're really gonna love them. Please comment below what you think. If you have your own ideas for these fat bombs, if there's anything that you want me to experiment with, that I'm happy to do it. I'm experimenting all the time. In the kitchen, I'm 
constantly getting texts from my friends, can you figure out how to do this specific thing? So if you have a request, put it in the comments below. Please give this video a thumbs up, a like, and subscribe to the channel. There are so many good videos on here and we're already planning out for the rest of the year, for planning out into the next year. And I'm so excited. I am, it just gives me so much pleasure to do this with you and for you and just kind of empower you to to want to cook more and with that i am signing off and wishing you to live a deliciously healthy life